This video is a quick walkthrough of creating a data collector to pull data from a REST API with Cribble Logstream. Starting at the home page, I'm going to navigate to one of my worker groups, in my case logs, and then pull down the data menu and select collectors. This gets me to the manage collectors page where I'm going to click add new. I'm going to use the weather bid API to pull weather information for two cities, San Francisco and Chicago. So I'll name the collector weather API. I'll select the REST collector type, and I need to decide on a discovery type. Discovery can either be another API call that returns effectively a list of items to collect, or it can be in the form of a JSON list or just a simple list of items. We're going to use the list of items. I'm entering two zip codes into the discover items field. Then I need to put the URL for the API in the collect URL field. A special node is the reference to the variable ID. ID is a special token that will always include the discovered item that needs to be retrieved. In this case, that would be the zip codes that we've entered. Remember, this is evaluated by JavaScript as a template literal field, so you need to enclose it in back quotes. For this API, we also need to add a couple other parameters to the request. We need to set the parameter units to I to get imperial units, i.e. Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. And this API uses a simple key that's provided in the request params for authentication. So we'll include that here. For obvious reasons, the actual key is being blurred out here. Now for API collectors, I tend to like to add a metadata field for the source type or some indicator of what the data is. So I don't need to extrapolate it later, like in a pipeline. So I'll set a source type field to weather data. Finally, by default, collectors send the data they collect into the normal routing structure. But in this case, I might want to process it independently. So I might want to select a, a special pipeline, like the pass-through in this case, and a separate destination, like Influx, like I'm doing here. Once I save the configuration, I can click on the Run button and run a preview job. The data is returned from the API in the preview window, and I can explore it or even save the preview as sample data if I want to use it to build a pipeline for it. At this point, we validated that the collector is working and that the data is showing up correctly. As always in a distributed environment, you'd want to commit and deploy the changes, but then you're done. Thanks for watching.